aim of having the media conference. The lesser clan representatives fronted up at the MTV office to respond to comments by Popo land owners over the weekend. They claim Popo land owners are nine kilometers outside the seismic drilling and have no ownership over land where the project is staged. We have a land boundary which Popo will not come into that area where the seismic is happening now. They are paper lane owners. They are paper lane owners and we we don't see them in, in lesser. Appeal the to other... Popo people to make a media apology to what they have stated. However, the Popos refuse to apologize. They say the concern here is not to claim ownership over the land, but to join the fight in making sure the Department of Petroleum and Energy table the preliminary land identification report. Um, and it's too early to, to, uh, to demand ownership of the land at this stage without proper identification process. It's not right to claim ownership at this stage. So we, we unfortunately cannot apologize to anyone at this stage. We've done nothing wrong. All we're trying to do is call upon the appropriate authorities to help us frustrate <coughs> this process so we know who legitimately owns the land. So if they own we are simply saying that DPE, as a regulator, failed to, to make sure that Inter Oil, as a license holder, did not comply with the Oil and Gas Act uh, of Papua New Guinea in this, this uh, hydrocarbon industry. And because they failed to do that, we are having confrontation with the lessers and other, other landowners. The purpose are inviting the lessers for a roundtable discussion as the developer Inter Oil has started test drilling. Meanwhile, InterOil responded in a letter stating social mapping and land owner identification has been completed, but the report is yet to be submitted to DPE. Gulf Governor Avila Cavo is yet to comment on this matter. Jack Lapava Jr., National MTV News. We are having confrontation with the lessers and other, other landowners. Now, we, look, we want.